Damn. And we just gonna find these little marks and smoke them. Shit ain't that hard. And now Billy Joe Saunders is next. That's pound for pound champion for him to go in and go into the next fight right away. That's respect. Uh, and I think, I think he knocked out Billy Joe Saunders too. Uh, well, because uh, everybody wants to uh, push their own agendas and they don't want to listen to the party. And I don't care what anybody has to say. Uh, I go and do what I want. Mm -hmm. I don't work for no promoter. They work for me, straight up. You guys work for me. Uh, no promoter will ever make me do what I don't want to do. Now, this was supposed to happen 10 years ago. You know, Manny Pacquiao is a very popular fighter in Mexico. His fighting style is very entertaining. When we talk about the possibility of this fight happening back then, remember, Canelo Alvarez was fighting at 154, and he wasn't the fighter he was today. And Manny Pacquiao just got done fighting Timothy Bradley at 147. So if this fight was going to be made, it would be made at 150. I know people talk about, well, is Alvarez 168 now and then fight at 175? And Pacquiao is 147? That's like a 30-pound difference. We're talking about a Canelo that was 22, 23 years old. And a prime Pacquiao who was 32 or 33 years old. Luis Singson, who was the governor of the Philippines, a very close friend of Manny Pacquiao, said a billionaire, a Mexican billionaire, Carlos Slim, was offering him $65 million to fight in Mexico. And one of the opponents he wanted to set him up with was a young Canelo Alvarez. Mr. Slim wanted to bring Manny Pacquiao to Mexico for a favor of one of his countrymen. This fight is after he got a bad decision against Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley got the decision. I thought Pacquiao got robbed in that fight. And it's before Juan Mayo Marquez knocked him out. Which before that, nobody thought Juan Mayo Marquez could knock out Manny Pacquiao. Because before that, Manny Pacquiao was stopped twice in his career. And the last time he was stopped was 1999. And this was the time that Manny Pacquiao was pursuing a fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Of course, Floyd was ducking him and he fought him later on when Pacquiao got old and apparently had a shoulder injury. So that fight was gonna happen. So the next biggest threat a lot of people thought was Canelo Alvarez, who was a young, aggressive, strong fighter, undefeated, 40-0, 41-0 with 30 knockouts, who was fighting at 154 and people figure they could put him in there with a Manny Pacquiao who fought Antonio Margarito, who was much bigger than Manny Pacquiao, and they fought at 150. If this fight would have ever happened, I think Pacquiao would have been a slight favorite because of speed, skill, and experience. But I think Alvarez would have been a live dog because of his punching power, his aggressiveness, and his strength. Why didn't this fight happen? That's the million dollar question. My opinion is that Manny would definitely took that $65 million and fought in Mexico. I think it's a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is the animosity between De La Hoya and Bob Arum. And I think the other reason is De La Hoya knew he had a budding superstar in Canelo Alvarez and didn't want to ruin it, him fighting a guy like Manny Pacquiao. Remember, Canelo was good, but he wasn't the fighter he is today, the best pound for pound fighter in the world, who got the defense, the head movement, cut off the ring, the best body puncher in boxing. He wasn't the finished product that he is today, and Manny Pacquiao was in his prime. And I think at that time, De La Hoya remembers the beating that Manny Pacquiao gave him. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.